Hello everybody and welcome back to the poetry stage. We're performing and reading poetry uh, with many of Eugene's finest poets in between the, uh, the bands of the stage up there. So we'll be with you for about the next 45 minutes. We hope you'll join us and listen to some wonderful poetry. Right now we would like to welcome Roy Seitz to the stage. Please look, give a hand for Roy Seitz. Shutting down, cold June raining almost tomorrow, blood smell without reason, my room fills with the red smoke's essence, I snap the fingers, I feel it all, this is how it happens, another extraction, low and hot they call it, extract slick, bust treetops, slams right down tight to the deck, hauling ass, pop red smoke, a bullet bursts a canteen. Tracers as a dance club stroke, we are running. Yellow smoke 79 to the tree line, gunship markers. Rockets exit tubes, miniguns, shred, clear cut. We are running, gear digs our backs. A sniper, a spotter, killers. Slick flares up, no, slick flares, nose up, breaks on, settles. Port gunner dangles, spins from the side, very dead. A safety line, they call it. His blood now custom pinstriping to the tail. Co-pilot's windscreen shattered, brains on the bulkhead, teen scene textured surreal in the red haze. A Cobra gunship smokes out, mayday, mayday, call for burn, call for burn, prefix extraction current, go yellow, go yellow, another finger snap. Fast movers, yes, F4s, flying cover above, slow motion, napalm pods hit yellow smoke markers, making a wind of its own, finger snap. We slide onto the deck, up and in, life in 1973, LZ-10, Recon 3, covert they will call us. Out for weeks, living like rats on a killing spree, south central Laos. Adrenaline burns, kidneys pulse, pounds the ears, air so hot, so wet, makes no sense to breathe it. Leech bites long festered to near boils. Twenty-three unconfirmed kills in our wake, all officers, all very dead. No one knows why. Blood soak, pilot cranks, blades bite. I'm not able to describe the turbine, turbine scream. Finger snap. We rise, flight engineer hit. We Patch them. starboard gunner hit, we man the doors, turbine squeal, we rise, we we'll burn another pass, six pods, fuck them, burn the little bastards. All this for two men, scout sniper, Gunner and flight engineer, you asked, we'll live. We sit, strap in, canteens pulled, we drink, we puke, we fire below, bodies burn, working the sirens way out. We hold each other's trembling hands to light cigarettes. Over 100 dead on the ground. They wanted us bad. In the essence of the red smoke, the cat walks in. David Crosby from 71 floats by. The cat's bowl filled and sits on a bloody deck. Radio on. The chill side, they call it. Something about a mountain in the river sound. Finger snap. The word doc screen is pulled. Yes, how the fuck did I live through that? The cat knows the look. He settles down to lick his ass across the room. The pilot, you asked? No, he never spoke with me again. You gotta blame someone. The Cobra crew, MIA till some months ago. Yes, I heard their, one of their daughters on the radio today. She's saying something about closure. Hopefully, 
this is how it happens. first chair. Mark Isham is blowing his horn sweet mid-November cold. Snow lines way down. I can put it all to music. Fleet, feet dangle sitting on the helicopter's deck edge. Cobras fly by working the minis. I can see the spent brass fall. If I lean over a little, I watch rockets leave the tubes toward the scattering ants below. Blood, fog, and dust. The river's just outside. It's lake. Hell, it's tomorrow. Quick weapons check, slick flares, lands, we hop on out, rotor blades tap out on the cymbals, tree line made through the drummer's hands, the trumpet holds us down to the ground. Do you see it? Feel the heat? The adrenaline hit? A sheen grows on my arms, letters race out of my fingers onto the keyboard, heart rate up. Flashback? No, not back. It is always right here, right now. Wisconsin love, and yeah, it's long. Sorry. I'll try and do that again. Wisconsin love. A year and a half prior, I was bussing tables. Three years of high school, high-end restaurant where I learned about liquor and Wisconsin. Wisconsin college girls out summer sinning on the SoCal coast. All the moves, all the grooves, I suck big ass making good bucks, paid for a right to sell Camino, jamming gears on hot nights off, making great. Now Cambodia, 1973, NVA walking my kill zone, fanning his platoon. They're looking for us. He's only a few minutes to live. He's inside 800 yards. Not a hard shot, not at all. Rat, little rat fuck centipede in a boot nose on my ankle. It's going numb, breaks concentration. The dozen leeches on each leg are par. Low food, low iodine, water will be a problem. Mind, tired, been out for well over two weeks. These guys are blowing our extraction, but that's the nail. Margie, Wisconsin, what the hell pops in my brain? I have no idea how, why. Yup, having a bad day in sniper land. Break off the sh shot. Signal spotter, Ron to chill. Hot ass day, wet. Rain like warm piss cooling down. We water up, share a smoke. He sounds off. Range down 750. She dug the El Camino, head snack, snapping gear shifts. Creedon is screaming on the 8-track, cutting street race deals. 100 bucks a gear. She wrote me a little over here with an Our Boys Fighting for Freedom crap. One day they would stop, but that's another poem. I slip out the knife, pound the bug's brains through the boot. Range down, 7.30, wind left, half a click. A lot of killing coming, if she only knew, but that's the noun. Second target, two left, wind shift now, half right, range down, 7.20. Rifle finds its shoulder, scope clear, safety off, call it, spotters on, wind steady, secondary clear, go, go, go. Border round, long right, closer, range even, target to range, border two, border round, long right, closer. Border round, long right, closer. Machine gunners get in the game, set range 700, their gunners way high left. She go on and on sometimes, yes, the sunset going vegan, listening to plants, cats, the environment, street racing deals, Sunset Boulevard, Venice Beach, sunburn, suntan, sunsick, the Beatles, 2001, a space odyssey, how real it all felt. Nixon, the war, once a wetsuit. 
think SOGS is the better surfboard rack wax. Shift target mortar bipod, 700 even, wind nail, ride the recoil, two down, work the bolt. Their spotter down, two over right, the gun crew, work the bolt, work the bolt, work the bolt, three more go down. A good way to off balance a larger force with a smaller one is to move up, move up fast, full auto all the way. Such a long, hot engagement they fold it. Rare to see surrender. Weapons down, hands up, no shit. Young and younger, their water long gone, gaunt, very hungry, covered with their own dead, sores like ours, overhamped on adrenaline, shaken like it's 30 below. Fuck, I got no room for prisoners. We sat together in the Temple of Mars that day, passed them a canteen, smokes, they stacked weapons, the radio got a bullet. Didi Mount, get the fuck out of here. As far as I know, they're still running. I'm beginning to like you too much, she'd say. She's getting my chart done. We kick it to Woods Cove after work. 1 a.m., burn a number, hold, hug, kiss, feel up, feel down, skinny dip the surf. B-17, her 21. Double click the handset. Call extraction, call extraction. LZ Rodeo Temp, clear, recon three. Go my blue, smoke. This mercenary dreams. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming northern Kashmir, steep valleys, hard climbs, reach high and cold. Marco Polo walked around it all, but me, I would stand between the Muslims and the Hindus, work myself out for ancient Moroccan gold left behind by beaten crusaders. Camel up one last time. Night paint. Night paint. Night paint my face for keeps in the name of a different god for a big change. I could learn cooked buttered rice over smokeless hot fires as the needle teachings. Collect far range lotus leaves from my goats to keep the milk sweet. Walk backwards in Rumi's footsteps to wonder how the words chose him. Kneel seven times a day to pray. AK 47 an ammo belt in the dirt next to me. Rain poncho for a prayer rug. Then return blood soaked, dead, and filthy to a thousand women trilling, old ones to wash my body in death song chant. Feast of flax bread, clay fired in ram's head soup. Leave the earth with the Gita's promised to warriors, hopeful. Rumi's words find me at the warrior's place in hell and allow me then the divine song of God. Pray this is the last time any God's feet have a body laid upon them A big round of applause for Roy Seitz. Woo! Awesome poet. Roy's got some books here. He'll be signing for the next hour or so, so please uh, check it out. Okay, right now we're going to bring you some of the young poets of Eugene, including myself. I call us young poets of Eugene because we are a tribe. We are not all young, but we are all young at heart with the youthful exuberance of enthusiasm and inspiration shining through in our words. We are young, we are old, we are wise, we are foolish. We are soft and fuzzy, and we are hard as nails, just like you. We are here to present our poetry to you, and once we do, then it becomes yours, to feel and do with as you will. We are the Young Poets of Eugene, so here we go. Right now I'm going to do a political poem for you, which a uh, theme of the 60s, and with uh, my two friends Andrew and Jeremy accompanying me on drums. Trying to. Trying to, anyway. I fight for what is not left. I fight for what went long ago. The smiling faces, flowers, long hair, and bell bottoms of you. Now only a faded view left forgotten in the memories of new wars, new scores, new reasons to be afraid by the many 
the masses, no longer aware how it could have been had we just not given in to the many numbered royalties, the commercialism cash cow, the callous concern of corporate bottom lining until we're all just scared for our jobs, no longer able to see the possibility that was at our fingertips. If only we could have held on a little longer, persevered a little stronger, not been in such a drug-induced haze. Oh, the ways, the ways of the world, the wonder now gone, replaced by hunger, the mad plans of melancholy mentioned in passing, the last seen signals of the 60s. Do you remember when peace, love, and brotherhood were the current topics of discourse? Do you remember when government regulation was strong enough that air pollution standards created cleaner air and the big banks and Wall Street operated with public scrutiny? Do you remember when aerosol cans started disappearing from store shelves replaced by pump sprays? Do you remember why? Do you remember truth in advertising? Do you remember the fairness doctrine? when opposing political views had equal airtime by law? Do you remember when telephone companies, public utilities, television, media, airlines, health insurance, and banks were not mega monopoly corporations and monopolies were broken up by our government? Do you remember when the Supreme Court was fair and balanced? and politicians of opposing parties actually work together. Do you remember when big money didn't buy up all of government? Do you remember when public education was important, reliable, affordable, and funded? Do you remember when teachers, firemen, and police officers were important jobs with public support for fair wages and benefits? Do you remember when the average American family could afford a house, a car, and a college education for their children? Do you remember make love, not war? The 1960s was a paradigm shift, at least. A brief moment of truth. A glimpse of the golden age, the future that could be, if peace, love, and brotherhood really reign in the world. In the 60s, we saw that the evolution of the human spirit was possible. We saw that living in harmony with our fellow man and mother nature was doable. But when you look around now, it appears like we have forgotten all of that. I fight for what is not left. I fight for what went long ago. The smiling faces, flowers, long hair, and bell bottoms of you. Thank you. I would now like to welcome up another one of our young poets of Eugene. Who would like to take a spin on the wheel? Karen, Andrew, Candace, James, Jeremy. Okay, Jeremy's gonna join us. Please welcome Jeremy. Selling interactions, of having to explain instructions, or being too careful not to hurt someone's feelings if we don't know each other yet. Talking. Talking has become a brick wall covering ourselves from here to here, and this wall is paper thin. So, yes, we can see through each other. And I don't mean to put words in your mouth, I just mean. Enough with the politeness. Politeness is for business folk who really just want to get home and eat dinner. And
and fulfill the comforting pattern. And it may smell good and taste good. The point is, why do we all have to keep doing cruel little things or big cruel things just to stay here? It's like gravity alone has become the great dictator. It's like our bodies, our bodies, they are diesel trucks making all kinds of noise and smoke. It doesn't really care about nothing but keeping on going. Is this not true? Or is there a difference between these bodies, these engines, and me and you? Because if I'm more than this body, if I'm not just this body, or if there's more to this physicality than what I'm used to thinking this physicality is, then I'm asking, what is going on? Depression, confusion, eat, eat, eat. Depression, confusion, smoke, smoke, smoke. Depression, confusion, fuck, fuck, fuck. Enlightenment, now what the fuck is that? Is that like some bubble-blowing joker high on magic weed? Is it like some high flutin' idea conjured by suffering individuals who dream of an escape? Is it like some mountain way too high to climb? Or is it close by, like, like where? You see it, standing between the two trees? There, it just moved. Oh, I see it, I see it. Wanna get closer? I don't know. Our footsteps make noise, our bodies have a scent, even our breathing is sound. I think, I think the only way we can get real close to that wild elk standing there, with two black light universes looking upon us, the only way we can get close is if we fly at night. Or we can just shoot it. What? What the hell are you talking about? I'm not shooting myself. All right, I'm not either. Okay. Well, that's a step. Okay, now what's the next step? Because this is not going to be easy. This gravity. These bodies. You can read my mind, though. And I can see through you. Unless I start talking too much. And I don't want to stay here anymore if we have to keep doing cruel things. Just to keep our bodies grounded. Austin, Jeremy. Okay, who's next? Okay, James or Austin? Austin, you want to read? Are you ready? Okay, who's ready? Candace? I can always read something. Are you ready? All right. So you guys get ready while while uh, while Andrew or Karen reads. So, welcome to the poetry stage. I hope you're enjoying the Young Poets of Eugene. And uh, we have coming up for you right now, Andrew. Please welcome Karen to the stage. Each one an individual, each one not separate from 
myself. I am loved by these beings that cannot even see me. I'm so large in comparison. And that world, <laughs> that world is perhaps innocuous to some, and visible to others, but it is their world and mine. Look, look who's coming. Awesome young poet Karen. For those of you who don't know, Karen makes up her poems on the spot on stage spontaneously. So that's awesome, Karen. Please welcome up next young poet Austin. Param. Hot weather, he said, has ripped a fabric in my mellow man. This need not be heeded as an imperative, inseminative donation to an impotent situation, much to the chagrin of our open source, on the waterfront, lump and land, addressing a few linguisticizations on our food problem. Acumen's laudan be as lump as mine, as long as chrysanthemum mamas don't give you no time. 
And even apples and oranges don't complain in the frequency domain. A quasar apothecary of Shisandra salamanders and Amanita raspberries. Have mercy and water well while I'm gone to my own private Rajneesh Param. I've been waiting for the Bhagwan all day. The best times. The crispiest of thoughts. Most intoxicating words omitteth when you're missing someone. Left with the psychic playthings of the initiate, calmatively containing the sigils of Kaya. From my alphabet primordial soup of desire, hugging the aeons in an exorbitant yes. This is which surrounds and eclipses the chaos center. On the way up and down the central channel, inshallah with the internal council, a pertinent group setting, or a sweet coquette, a live shebang sigiling cigarettes and lemon meringue with wherewithal enough to know mankind flow. Supplant sunscreen with sage and sephiriac cigarette burn stomach sun effigies as even those most vampiric of entities, blessed be, a worker bee for guy is me. for Austin. What an awesome poet. Just want to say, poetry is now. Poetry is here. Here we are expressing ourselves for your pleasure. Our poems become yours when we speak them. Um, right now we're going to have Candace. Please welcome Candace to read.
awesome these young poets are. They just come right out with all this great stuff. And right now, we have the unique talents of James. Come on, James. Potato, lukewarm, drippy wonder. Lube it up. None of that vegetable oil, butter, laxative substitute. This is Pillsbury Doughboys. Wet nightmare, as they say in the baking business, an erotic cake. Don't touch that dough, you albino chef hat wearing, masked out of high quality laziness. This whole thing was bred into you. Wasn't it? Why not spice things up? New jalapeno cheese. Dick! You think you're so sweet cookie dough? That's why you're more like sweet bread. Why aren't there rye cookies? Too many damn crackers. Getting all wet in the artichoke dip jacuzzi. Stupid glutinous rash enthusiasts. That damn doughboy, he just keeps laughing it up like we're the mindless consumer. That degenerate sandwich curator going out of his way to jerk off into our sauerkraut. Such a freak. It's going to be a meltdown. Graham cracker genocide. Got to take out that fudge holding together with the blood of Stay Puft marshmallows. This is clearly a conspiracy. Masonic blood of Wonka ordeal. Oompa Loompas aren't real, not even fictional. They were just dwarves with an over-exuberance of carotenoids in their blood. Even still, you don't see the shadow government of Twix rivaling itself, taping people's faces shut, dropping innocent dogs and mind-altering drugs in the mix. Why, this whole confounded industry is twisted with the ritual cannibalistic M&M people. They just live to be chopped up and eaten. We just want food that knows it's going to die. We want to feel it. This is wrong, but it's so right. After all, the shadow government has to offer is pretty RoboCop-esque. Have to keep the anti-candy prohibition up. How's that black market to function? We can't let those bullets go to waste. I mean, come on, chopping down all the trees will take forever. Why not just burn them? I mean, who says there needs to be to not be mutual destruction. We'll have candy people on candy people violence. A warped, twisted entertainment to, de to be seen from underground dungeons by the bored government officials tying each other up with American and Canadian and, you know, all these other flags. Dressing up as Stalin and Mussolini. Running around playing grab ass with Pol Pot. Beach balls with skinless heads of former less popular presidents. Blood sacrifices all over the world. The blood is in the jelly we put on sandwiches. This must be re-educated to know that they will only be consumed. They will never be loved. Rebellions are starting from the inside by true blue liberal amounts of brain soap hidden in every exploding tube of bake your own biscuits. Croissants for the foreignly endowed. Why, if I had my way, I'd stop this cons conspiracy. I would. But by the great Lord Destroyer Muffin Master, we shall have reason. We shall have order. And damn it, the beaks are larger than I can fathom. You can climb up that gargantuan rooster beak and you scream. That's it. Another round for James. Okay, Andrew's gonna do a quick one. We think the band's about to start again, but we'll we'll see how if he can get this one in. Maybe they'll wait on us. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna read this pretty short poem that really has I don't know maybe almost nothing deep to it. And then if I feel like fucking around and seeing if there's time, I might read another one. Uh, this poem is called Condoms. From primal urges, subjects emerge as subtext for discussion over coffee on the primary motivations of biological evolution. Like, who would have thought that sex was for procreation? 
I thought it just feels good and gets me closer to another person, but apparently it has something to do with bringing babies into the world, aka the survival and reproduction of my genes through the semen seed drones that grow up to feel uh, such illusions as love. All one master scheme of the genes to continue reproducing and some people have had to learn this the hard way. That's why we wear condoms to interrupt ejaculate cock blocking our genes stuck traffic jam from fertility. So we rubber up laugh at nature and say, ha ha, the joke's on you, watch what I'm gonna do, I get to have my cake and eat it too. Yeah. Okay, they haven't started, so I can read, are they starting right now? Sound check. All right. So this should be the end of the set then. Okay, thank you all so much for joining us for this set of poetry readings and performances. We'll be here again after the next uh, band is finished. In about 45 minutes, come back and hear some more. Thank you.